like Robert Simpson had set out to prove that small companies were indeed frequent targets of abusive naked short sellers. That got Simpson ownership of all 1.1 million Global Link shares in the market. Not some of them, all of them. There were no shares available to be borrowed, and yet in two days there were over 50 million shares traded. That's clearly something that needs, needs work. I was absolutely blown away when I bought 1,282,050 shares, which equated to 111% of the issued and outstanding. I just couldn't even fathom that. So it wasn't just crooked. It was Wild West times 10. The day all this started, trading in Global Links opened at 10 cents a share. Within a second, the price dropped to a penny. An hour and 16 minutes later, Global Links stock was trading at eight one hundredths of a penny. Prices dropped 99% in less than two hours. Global Link CEO Frank DeBrucki wrote shareholders, telling them the selling of Global Link shares was evidence of illegal trading. And when that occurs, he said, The company cannot meet its goals and shareholder equity is diluted so that brokers can line their pockets with illegal cash. The same conviction motivated Patrick Byrne to hire six foot six inch John O'Quinn, one of the few attorneys in the country tall enough to look him in the eye and by reputation, a giant killer. In Texas, they call O'Quinn the billion dollar man because he won billion dollar judgments against makers of silicone breast implants and Fen Fen and against big tobacco. The deal is rigged so bad. I can make this statement safely. You have more chance to be treated fairly in a casino in Vegas than you do in the stock market. The security industry has things rigged to where they can deal from the bottom of the deck regarding your stock and your money. O'Quinn's co-counsel is another Houston-based attorney, Wes Christian. Together they represent some 20 U.S. companies that all claim damage from naked short selling, including Overstock, Sedona Corporation, and Taser. They represent Overstock in a lawsuit seeking three and a half billion dollars in damages from Wall Street's biggest prime brokers, accusing them of executing short sales with no intention of delivering stock, causing Overstock's share price to drop. All the accused have declined comment on pending litigation. If you're a short seller and you abide by all the rules governing short sales, then fine. It's legitimate, it's legal, it's proper. That's not what is going on on Wall Street. What's going on on Wall Street in our cases, and we're now seeing in many other companies, is a rigged system.